secondary my assembly this week uh, and we are going to be focusing on something a little bit different uh, not a, a subject you know you know something that's going on in the world at the moment I'm sure you've enough of the news and you're keeping up to date so we're going to try and help you with a few top tips of how to navigate and how to help you with your remote learning everyone's finding it a little bit hard various different things some of us are finding it quite nice being in our own house some of us not so much we are all here we're all together working our way through it and if you haven't got or you haven't used all these tips i hope that you can take some from this video so enjoy remember we are proud of what you are producing be proud of yourselves you guys are amazing i hope you enjoy the chichester free school top tips so here we are looking forward to the top tips number one calm environment let's make sure we have a calm environment with no distractions so that might mean putting your phone on silent or putting your phone in a in a different space to where you're working maybe put it in as a do not disturb so no one can call you um, and leave it until you finish some work maybe turning a tv off or having no television whilst you're trying to work would help your environment be nice and calm with no distractions and maybe trying to find an area in your house which might be a little bit quiet make sure that it's nice and calm sometimes people listen to music that might help but making sure it is nice and quiet next one is have clear routines are you following your timetable we highly recommend that you follow your timetable so you're able to get instant feedback on show my homework and then you're also able to attend your live lesson you also need to make aware or make sure you have breaks you need to have breaks away from the screen to be able to make sure that you can concentrate uh, when you're in your lesson or completing work so make sure in your routines you have clear times where it is break time and you are away from the screen the next thing is I independence think about the skills that you have created whilst you've been at home and how independent you have been it is amazing this independence that you would have explored and, and used whilst completing your work is a real thing to be proud of so keep developing those independent skills The next thing is contribute. Can you contribute to your live lessons? Can you contribute to uh, uploading your work on Show My Homework? Give it a go, even if you're not sure that it might be correct or you're not sure that that's the task that you've been asked to do. Give it a go. Teachers are always there to help you and to guide you in the right direction. But the most important thing is to try and contribute. Now the next letter is H and it is for help. Now this is really important. Do not be afraid of asking your teachers for help. We are here for immediate feedback on showing my homework and during the live lessons. So ask for help. You can also help other friends. If friends are a little bit stuck and you're in the same class, if you understand the task or understand the question, you might be able to help them by reaching out and having a chat. You can also look for help on uh, BBC Bite Size, making sure, especially Key Stage 4, that you're looking at the right exam board. You can always Google or look up things on BBC Bite Size to help you along the way. But do not be afraid of asking questions and see if you can help any of your friends out. The next one is E for Explore. Now, Miss Thompson spoke to me about this one, um, so thank you, Miss Thompson. Can you explore different ways of producing work? Do you always need to be in front of a screen? Yes, you might be getting examples or uh, instructions from a screen, but once you've got those instructions, are you able to produce work on a piece of paper? Are you, be able, are you able to produce work by uh, acting something out? Are you being creative? And can you explore different ways of producing work, which could be away from a screen? 
Now this is one of the most important top tips I think that we've come up with. Submit. Submit work. If you haven't completed a task, don't worry about it. If the time is up, don't worry about it. Just submit what you have completed. We would love to see what you have produced and what you've been working so hard to create rather than seeing nothing. Maybe set a limit. If you have done 50 minutes of the work, five minutes, use those last five minutes to submit anything and everything that you have managed to do. Now the next thing is timers and thank you Miss Oxley for this suggestion. So no, it's not like what you're used to, the TikTok of the dance, TikTok o'clock goes, not quite that timer. I mean a timer where you can put on your laptop or put on a clock and make sure that you are working to that time. You then can have a clear routine and you know clearly how much time you have left to complete a piece of work and how much time you have for a break. And you can really use this to make sure you kind of set yourself that limit, 50 minutes of doing work, and then use those last five minutes to submit whatever you have completed. And it's really important to make sure you're using your time wisely. Next one is E for exercise. Me being a PE teacher, you know I love being outside and being able to exercise. Exercise is good for your brain, okay? So make sure you're able to get out, go for a walk, go for a run, go into the garden, get some fresh air and try and exercise. And you can use that as obviously a break away from the screen and it would be good for you. Last letter in Chichester, it is an R and it is really important to remember you are amazing. You are doing an amazing job. You have got this. We are proud of what you are producing. You should be proud of what you're producing. Your family are proud. Just keep working hard. You are all doing amazing. Okay, we are on to the free now. F, feed your brain. It is important to make sure you have breakfast, lunch, and dinner and you stay hydrated throughout the day so make sure you're having those breaks to make sure to make sure you're eating properly and make sure you keep hydrated as your brain is important and it needs to be fed next is R. remove your work thank you miss mace for this idea once you have finished your work for the day put it away do not look at it again until the next morning when you are starting work. Put it away, hide it somewhere, shut the door, leave it. Do not return until your next day. Make sure you're having that break. And the last two letters are E. Embrace the changes. Yes, it's different. Yes, it's strange. Yes, it might be difficult. But take it under your wing and just do your best and embrace it. Last but not least, enjoy and be proud of what you've created. We are proud of what you are doing. Your parents and carers are proud of how you're able to adapt and work in these environment. Just be proud of what you have created and take as much enjoyment as you can. They are the Chichester Free School top tips. So there we are. There are our Chichester Free School top tips i hope you can take something from them and i really hope to hear you know if you've got any more tips please let me know i would be more than happy to share them with everybody else keep being amazing you're doing great okay just keep on going see you soon